Great, now this doesn't fit. Every time I get a new phone, I don't wanna have to replace all my accessories. I'm not an iPhone user for a reason. Welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode, we'll show you some of the handiest USB-C accessories for that shiny new phone of yours. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and check out our other upcoming Android phone tips. While the change from micro USB to USB-C may seem frustrating, it'll be worth it in the long run. Let's be honest, it took micro USB years before all of our accessories started coming with that cord. There's still devices today that come with the older and bigger mini USB cable. Blech. So even though our shiny new phones are starting to come with USB-C, it doesn't mean all of our cool accessories have it just yet. I'm talking about adapters. You can get a pack of these little micro USB to USB-C on Amazon for about 10 bucks. This will save you from having to buy a whole new cable for any of your cool little accessories. And if the time comes when Android phones go the way of iPhones and take away our beloved audio jacks, then adapters have you covered here too. No one wants to go buy a whole new set of headphones just because they took the port away. And currently there are no really good USB-C headphone options. No, this is my nightmare coming true, what the hell? I'm gonna vote no on eliminating the headphone jack. I mean, if I get a say, my vote is a firm no. We know one of the big benefits to Android phones is having the ability to use micro SDs as added storage. But what about flash drives? Did you know that most newer Android phones can also support using that little port for flash drives too? Here we have a drive that supports USB-C on one side and normal USB on the other. It's very handy if you wanna swap files between your PC and your phone. Let's talk battery. If you haven't seen our video on battery banks, now might be a good time to check it out. It'll give you some of the basics of battery charging tech. The thing we will mention here is there's a pretty good chance charging your phone using the USB-C port on your battery bank will charge it faster than using the other ports. Generally speaking, the power output on the USB-C ports is faster than on other standard USB ports. If you're in the market now for a new battery bank, make sure you future-proof it and get one with at least one USB-C port. Many of the new higher-end Android phones offer some sort of wireless charging tech, which is a great backup if that USB-C goes funky, but I digress. There's always a chance that your phone doesn't have wireless charging, or heaven forbid, your phone has a different wireless charging standard than Starbucks does. Looks like it's time to throw that shiny new phone out and get something else. Or you can just get a new wireless charging receiver on Amazon for under 20 bucks. They have numerous options that support all the major wireless charging standards, so just pick the one that you need and make sure it has decent ratings. The last accessory we'll mention is really handy for all our GoPro and Droner friends out there. Here we have a micro SD reader that slides right into your USB-C port. It's super handy if you wanna upload any footage directly to social media without having to take it home to offload it first. This one fits right into your camera or drone case so you can always have it handy. The sting is a little less, all right? What USB-C accessories are you still waiting for? Let us know in the comments below. And if you happen to be one of those users whose wireless charging doesn't work with Starbucks and you wanna see why, check out this video here. That's all for this episode of DIY in 5. My name's Trisha Hirschberger and I will see you soon with more tech DIY.